The SPATS adjustable balloon system offers the first easily adjustable intragastric balloon that provides a safe, customized balloon weight loss system. The insertion assembly consists of a guide wire that passes through a pushing catheter and the device, two syringes, a cap, mineral oil, and the insertion facilitator. The extension tube connection should be in the closed position clockwise. The extension tube is inserted into the groove of the pusher. Assure the wheel is in the closed position. Lubricate the lumen with the provided oil and add a drop of oil in four places as shown. Twirl the guide wire while holding the Y port. Prior to implantation, a standard endoscopy is performed to evaluate for contraindications and to identify the level of the gastroesophageal junction. There are two methods of insertion. For the standard method, the device is lubricated and the balloon is passed to the oropharynx and the patient is asked to swallow. Advance until the level of the gastroesophageal junction. Insert the endoscope and advance to the stomach. The second method utilizes the insertion facilitator. Place the insertion facilitator on the end of the endoscope and secure it by pulling both holes over the endoscope. Firmly pull up the proximal end to form a pocket and insert the end of the balloon. Hold the endoscope and device in one hand and generously lubricate the balloon, endoscope and valve areas. Insert the endoscope and device as you would in a normal endoscopy and pass it to the gastric antrum. Attach the three-way stopcock to the saline bag and the syringe. Inject 30 cc's of fluid to help release the balloon tip from the facilitator. Secure the endoscope with your left hand while pushing the pusher forward 5 to 10 centimeters with your right hand. This will release the balloon tip from the facilitator. Pull the endoscope back to confirm release of the balloon tip. Proceed to inflation. The balloon is inflated until all of the bands are pushed back on the catheter shaft. This will require about 500 cc's of saline. The completely filled balloon will have no creases and will have a thick cap. Once fully inflated, the balloon should be deflated to the desired final volume. We recommend 400 to 500 cc's as a starting point since it can be adjusted upward at a later date. Remove the guide wire. The endoscope and pusher are removed together until the valve exits the mouth. The valve is secured by the assistant while the extension tube is disconnected and replaced with the white cap. Lower the valve into the back of the throat. Reinsert the endoscope and gently push the white cap and white catheter below the GE junction. The procedure is now complete. The SPATS balloon provides endoscopists with the ability to tailor the balloon volume to exactly suit the requirements of the individual patient. Used in harmony with a professionally supervised program and behavior modification and diet, it can help achieve and maintain the health and aesthetic benefits associated with weight loss.